joining me in my studio. Today I'll be talking about four paintings that I recently finished from a series I call Branches. The first one, called Live Free, is one that I incorporated text in, Seek Truth, Live Free. This was a commission I did for a friend of mine. I'm always uh, eager to explore new media, and so in this, in this um, case I used plexiglass as a painted surface. The second one is called Branches One. As you can see, I raised the uh, plexiglass, allowing it to float over the canvas surface behind it. This is Branches 2. You can see from the side view how it floats over the top. This is Branches 3. To get this um, technique down, I had to paint everything in reverse starting from the highlights first and then working my way to the darker areas. Of course, everything starts out with a good drawing. I sketched some different trees from different places, building up the layers here in acrylic paint and charcoal to get the detail. As you can see here, I added the layers of plexiglass behind around you can see from the front. There's branches three and charcoal only working with the acrylics here, building up the layers. I did about two or three coats of acrylic. And I wanted to have a lot of good brush strokes down, so that's why I layered it up pretty good. Mixed in about three different colors here. And each time I'd add a layer, I would also incorporate an another layer of charcoal because each time I wanted the brush to pick up some of the charcoal that was underneath. For, before I started painting on the plexiglass, I went ahead and did a drawing on paper so then I would know how, um, how the lines were supposed to be from, from the reverse angle. This is the drawing, preliminary drawing, four branches, one. These particular branches I was inspired by um, a trip I went to um, visit my sister-in-law in Murphy, North Carolina, and on her property there were some really beautiful trees with very long branches, and when I saw them I just knew I wanted to do a painting in the style with those. And when the paintings are lit properly, um, a shadow is cast on the background and giving it just one more layer. As you can see, here's the assembly process. Um, I usually try to wire the, the panel, which is which has canvas stretched over it, and do that first. And then I use it, using hardware, um, I put that in first, and then push it through the, the panel. It's a little tricky, but I managed to get it. you have to watch for your fingerprints. Don't want anything like that floating back there. Of course, plexiglass is very um, staticky, so lint and, and all kinds of things wants to stick to it. I did add um, a layer of thinned gel medium to the back of just the painted areas on the plexiglass, and that way, in case anyone um, bought it and needed to clean it, they could clean it um, without worrying so much about the surface of the acrylic just washing off. I did all of these paintings um, in about a couple of days for each one, working about eight hours um, at a stretch. I did get the, the plexiglass cut at the hardware store and I pre-stretched and, and built all the canvas panels before I started that work so you could add that, that on time frame as well. Thank you for joining me today at the Acme Artist Studios in Wilmington, North Carolina.